Hi, my name is Marin and today FM rocks in Lambasa. Mula, my name is Mark. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Makassi. Hey, Bula from Rocky Rocky. I'm Mentor. I love listening to Today FM because they're playing many hits. Today FM rocks. My name is Enrico. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks in Suba. Hi, I'm Asunika and I'm from Lotoka and I love Today FM. Today FM rocks. Bula, I'm Siva. I'm from Bat. I love listening to Today FM. Today FM rocks. Today's hit music on Today FM. In this bulletin, ministers team up to fight domestic violence. School starts for 2020. And boxer granted bail. From the studios of FBC Suba, Deva Lindua. In an effort to stop the ongoing issue of violence against women and children, a ministerial meeting on a national action plan was carried out today with various ministries. Part of the discussion was that the health ministry has welcomed the five-year plan saying violence against Fijian women and girls has become an epidemic. Health Minister Dr. Ferremi Wangai Nambete says they will contribute to the development and implementation of the action plan. Education Minister Rosie Akbar says the cycle of violence must be broken in our homes, families and society. She says education has a significant role to play in transforming the root causes of violence against women and girls, gender inequality and patriarchy. From the Youth and Sports Ministry, Minister, Assistant Minister Alvik Maharaj says global evidence now demonstrates that violence against women and girls is preventable and that too within as little span a time as five years. Fiji is no exception. It was a proud moment for parents as more than 189,000 entered classrooms this morning, making the beginning of another school year. Children were dropped off at school by parents who have high hopes for the 2020 academic calendar. Bright and early, students from year one to year nine walked into classrooms across the country. Of the 189,000 students in 2020, just over 7,000 students have enrolled for early childhood education. 5,242 will be completing year 13 years of formal learning at the secondary school level, preparing to enter tertiary institutions next year. I'm very happy for my daughter. Uh, we're looking forward to this uh, new year, new challenges in school for her. And I know that she'll be enjoying her, her new year, new academic year. Yeah. It really means a lot. Because uh, there's another new year of uh, looking forward for schoolwork. Well, it means a lot. It's an uh, investment for me, uh, making sure that the kids have a better future for them and also they can contribute back to this nation. The Tertiary Education Loans Board has received over 6,200 applications from for the 2020 academic year. Of these, over 2,400 are for National Toppers Scheme, while over 3,800 are for Tertiary Education Loan Scheme. Tells Board Manager Student Services, Avine Kumar says, the staff are now going through all the applications. Uh, we are currently processing those applications which are at processing stage. Uh, of those, uh, we are assigning those applications to our offices. And uh, those applications which are at processing, we have started to give uh, the offer letters and bond forms for the students. And once they receive those bond forms and the offer letters, they must uh, submit those documents back to us so that we can confirm those students. Boxer Sebastian Singh has been bailed on a charge of assault causing bodily harm. It is alleged that on the 22nd of December, he assaulted his pregnant wife in Suva. Singh has been released on strict bail conditions and ordered not to contact the complainant or any witnesses. He was also told that he can't go within 100 meters of the complainant and released a $2,000 bail bond and two surety bonds of $2,000 each. A stop departure has been issued and an interim domestic violence restraining order is also in place. The case will be recalled on the 25th of February. Stunted growth in children is a global challenge and Fiji is doing better compared to some other Pacific Island countries. 
Health Minister Dr. Efremi Wangana Mbete says the lack of essential vitamins and nutri nutrition provided to children leads to the reduction of normal growth rate of children. Our challenge in Fiji is not as bad as some other countries in the Pacific. Uh, but again, as I said, you, you know, it, we must realize that this is not a challenge only for Fiji, it's a challenge all around the world. And um, there are mechanisms in place uh, already. Uh, as you're aware, the, you know, the uh, Fiji government is very, uh, is very pro, uh, you know, Fiji made uh, and uh, growing things locally. Prime Minister and Minister for Ito K Affairs, Wareng Mbaini Marama, has spoken out against comments made by some people stating the fire that destroyed the Great Council of Chiefs building last month in Asese was intentionally set by government. Speaking at the Radio Fiji One Nonda Barai Minister program, Mbaini Marama stated that some latest findings showed that the fire was caused by a lit mosquito coil. He adds people need to avoid crying over spilt milk for a particular fire incident compared to other fire incidents at various schools and homes. I want to ask why are some people shedding tears about the fire incident that destroyed the GCC building when most of those crying can even feel sorry about the fire incident that happened in Arkeyes, destroying few floors of the school dormitory. Coming up, Nasoko adapting but still far from starting. And Roy Krishna and team go down. Stay with us. Roy Tabua, Agudo Talitane and Barong and Bula FM, Namando Nasir. Bula, Alango Noa, Lutoka, Lutalita and Bula FM, but in Namando Nasir. Nimbula Vinaka, Nandrego, and Bula FM. Former Fiji Sevens captain Kalioni Nosoko is slowly getting back to full training with extended national squad. Nosoko has been out of action for the past 10 months due to a knee injury. Head coach Gareth Baber says he is two months away from playing competitive rugby. Look, Kelly's about eight weeks away from playing. He's had an ACL operation. They don't forget that an ACL operation finishes people's careers. I mean, you know, it, he was that close to potentially his career finishing after everything that was said was about him going to Edinburgh. And we have a duty of care and responsibility to manage his welfare, not just for his involvement with the Fiji Sevens, but his future uh, as a rugby player and his future in life as well, to have the quality of life that he deserves. And more local football stars are expected to join the Bar side this season. Bar Football has officially applied for the transfer of their former defender, Lysenia Raura, from Suva. The local football giant has also made their intentions known after applying for the transfer of Antonio Tuibuna from Lambasa. This means, in total, Bar at the moment has six players under their radar after Ben Aminio Matei Nangara, Muni Shivam Naidu, and Samuela and Runru have applied to join Ba two days ago. Meanwhile, goalkeeper Chosai Ratu has applied for his release from the Sinu to join Tavua. The player transfer window ends on the 31st of this month. A trough of low pressure lies slow moving to the north of Fiji. Associated cloud and showers affects the northern and eastern parts of the, of the group. And that is your FBC News Now. Remember to join us at 7 p.m. for our major bulletin. For these stories and others, you can also tune in daily to our sister radio station, Gold FM. Enjoy your lunch and good afternoon. And I'm from Kadavi. And Mirchi FM, it's hot. Hamachale, Nasorise, Mirchi FM, Bojulu.
Hi, I'm Shara Pugash Bhattkata. I'm from Tawa, I'm Mirchi FM. I'm from Tawa, I'm Mirchi FM. It's hot. Hi, my name is Prashant. I live in Suva. I love Mirchi FM because Mirchi FM is hot. Hi, I'm Shane. I love listening to Mirchi FM because it's awesome and it's hot. Hi, I'm Rachel. And I'm Shavi. We love listening to Mirchi FM in Lambasa. Mirchi FM, it's hot.